Hello again everyone, Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube segment, what I wanted to talk about uh, was something that connected with the coronavirus and it's about death and the coronavirus. Now, of course, many people are, are dying sadly because of the coronavirus due to the, uh, the physical uh, element or aspect of it because they become very debilitated and ultimately die as a result of the coronavirus but there's also uh, some issues that I want to explore as far as uh, as far as indirect reasons uh, people may die as a result of this now sadly as some of you may have heard is a fairly prominent uh, doctor in uh, New York Her name was Lorna Breen and she passed away uh, she had killed herself evidently had uh, committed suicide as a result apparently of not uh, being able to help perhaps not being able to help the people enough that were going through or dealing with coronavirus uh, issues she uh, this is a per when you see something like this she had contracted the coronavirus as well but she didn't die because of it but what I wanted to get at in this video is that uh, is that yes many people are, are perishing because they get they've contracted it and they've succumbed to the symptoms of it but the other thing the other things we have to look at again indirect reasons people becoming despondent perhaps over this in, in this case with Lorna Breen sadly perhaps not being able to innovate not, not feeling helpless not not being able to do what she really wanted to do to help these people uh, people had a lot of people had scoffed at this before and may still do so and about the coronavirus well uh, people are overreacting it's a distorted fear and this and that well you have the United States now I believe has surpassed a million confirmed cases and you got like over 50,000 people I believe in the United States have died from this and uh, and in, in worldwide I think it's at least two million have contracted this I mean, this is not something, I mean, you're telling two million people, it's not a, a minuscule amount. And the thing about it is that you have people now, that you're, where we're finding out that, I mean, this is, is where people can become very melancholy and despondent, whether it's not being able to help others connected with it, whether it's attributed to isolation people feeling alone and desolate they're being cut off from their friends more yeah you still have social media and people can interact in the virtual sense but there's a lot of people out there that like the in-person connections and what about those few people out there that small percentage that don't even have the internet and don't have social networking and social media as an outlet to talk to people what about those people I mean, this is something too, and also another another thing is where you have, I mean, again, the indirect result uh, of the coronavirus perhaps killing people. Some other instances. I mean, what happens if people are are not permitted? The people that aren't per permitted to work and are not getting compensation somehow. Do they uh, do they become these people wind up? becoming an impoverished situation some of them become homeless become hungry they wind up getting out on the street and they're more susceptible to others nefarious people either robbing them or hurting them maybe killing them uh, again we're going back to this people becoming despondent melancholy what about people too that are in situations when they're at home and there's more uh, propensity for, for domestic violence and volatility at home. People might become angry and acerbic because they don't have, they're frustrated, and then you have these people that might take it out on other people. Maybe in some cases wind up killing a family member. I mean, this thing can go very deep. This is not looking too deep. The people that thought that this was something that was frivolous, that, that was insignificant, that was unimportant. You yeah, really need to look at things right now and understand the full magnitude of this situation. That this thing uh, can really escalate, and 
And again, it's not just because of the physical uh, problems that people get that debil or dying from the, the physical debilitation, the dying from the, the physical re result of the um, of this by of this of the coronavirus. This is something too, where uh, some of you may have heard about a uh, uh, Chris Cuomo. He's uh, renowned like news journalist or what have you. He does uh, he works for CNN. And he said, um, he said in one of a video he had that he said that this can cause the coronavirus can cause a psychological damage. I guess he believed he was uh, uh, getting psychological damage from. Now I don't know if this has truly been confirmed or corroborated by doctors or scientists or what have you, but my suspicion is is that it may have some it, it may cause some psychological damage like I wonder if the situation with Lorna Breen if that might have caused some psychological damage to her in that and, and her becoming depressed and despondent was it a result of her become uh, of, of something from this coronavirus that that had done something to her psychologically I would not be surprised at some point that's revealed that that may have been what, what happened with her sadly see the thing about uh, about this too is when when you look at this uh, when you look at this uh, coronavirus I mean there are just mul multitude of reasons indirectly where this is going to wreak havoc on people's lives and, and people will ultimately uh, can ultimately perish uh, because of this uh, and at this, uh, and I had looked fairly recently. The good news in the United States, uh, at least at some point, was that as far as the the growth by percentage per day, it was it had it had been going down. The coronavirus, in other words, like you had, there was one day you you might have had it go up by seven percent from the previous day. Then you might have had six percent, something like that. Then that is six percent more than you had the um than than the previous uh in addition to the previous day, uh to a six percent increase from the uh, in terms of the confirmed cases from the previous day. Um, so. And, and then the thing is, uh, but at the same time, we do understand there's still a total amount of, I believe, well, uh, over a million confirmed cases in the United States. And it's something now we have to really look at. And, and this is something like we're becoming more learned at this. And, and this is time progresses uh, when this thing. Uh, first came out in the United States first got it they were looking at I mean I'm sure there are a lot of people looked at it like well there's only a few cases don't worry about it this isn't going to be uh, anything when, when the Ebola came out there were people that had scoffed at that and said it was insignificant this is something uh, obviously uh, very serious and and the thing is you're, you're talking about now you have to look at the element and aspect of suicide in connection with this whether it's because somebody contracted this may have developed some psychological symptoms as a result of this or is it uh, or or is it because in some cases it could be just uh, indirect results of this coronavirus the examples I talked about before people becoming disconsolate people becoming depressed and sad and um, and, and, and being frustrated being isolated not having uh, the means to do what they wanted to do previously and well the good news is that there was a, I don't remember his name but there was somebody that had made uh, it was, I believe it was in, somebody from India I believe it was he had made some uh, prediction on YouTube about the coronavirus and when it was going to start and when it would end and he had it where it started like around November 5th at or around November 15th and that's likely around the time it may have started but he predicted it would end like in late May like the 27th or 29th of May or something so I'm hoping being optimistic that this uh, that that could very that could happen if his prophecy comes true I mean he was accurate on the first part of the prediction maybe he will be on the second one but on the 
as far as uh, I had made a prediction on my YouTube astrology channel, I had stated that this would be more or less dying out more like the end of June. So mine was a little bit, I had a little bit of a later date than this person, other person. But I do hope one way or another this thing ends sooner than later because this has obviously put a lot of people really in a lot of um, a lot of misery uh, some of you may have heard of that basketball player I believe his name is Carl Anthony Towns his mother had died sadly she had become comatose she was in a coma because of the coronavirus and she ultimately perished so it's something that we all have to you know to look at understand if you know some and of course it's imperative if you know somebody that may be uh, suicidal or talking about or contemplating it it's important to get with that person and, or get that person some help as soon as you can because we don't need you know we don't need more unnecessary deaths uh, as a result of this uh, coronavirus so anyway people that's what I want to get at, and until uh, next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.